Hi there, welcome to this Java tutorial from dpuse.com. In this video, let's look at what is an interface, what is the need for an interface, and also what are the different things that you can do in an interface. Um, first question, what is an interface? An interface actually defines the set of methods that you would want to expose. What does that mean? Let's say we have two systems, system one and system two. And system one is exposing an interface uh, so what it does is actually define an interface saying these are the methods we want to expose and this is how you can call them and probably also a bit of description about that particular method and system one would also implement the interface and give the implementation of that particular interface. Um, system two would actually make use of the interface and call the methods in system one. So a lot of theory. Let's uh, just get started and see what you can do in an interface. The diff syntax for an interface is very simple. Uh, in this example, we are using interface as an inner class, but usually in real world projects, you wouldn't do that. You would have an interface defined in a separate clause of its own, and the name of that particular class would also match the name of the interface. So the name of the class or the name of the file would have been sample interface.java, but that's okay uh, to make. Uh, having it in an inner class makes it easier to explain in a video. Um, let's the syntax to define an interface is interface, the keyword interface, followed by a space and then the name of the interface. So what you are seeing here is the name of the interface, and then an open bracket and a close bracket. So what does the interface define? An uh, interface defines the set of methods that you would want to expose. So let's define the methods. So uh, let's say I want to put a void uh, I'll say method 1 to expose so that's basically the first method that I would want to expose the important things to note is the keywords which you can have in declaring a method so here public is allowed but let's see other ones which are not allowed so if I say private it's not allowed so what are allowed if you look at this in detail is only public and abstract are allowed so this is basically an abstract method so that's also possible uh, anyway you're going to define it so it's abstract and it's also public so it's available everywhere you can't use other stuff in here so you can't say a method is private so in an interface you are going to expose all the methods that are present. So all the methods are by default public abstract. So now if I want to expose another method, I can say method 2 to expose and define that. So that's basically a simple uh, interface, a sample interface which is exposing two methods. Uh, let's just uh, check a couple of other things which you can and cannot do in an interface. Uh, you can define variables in a uh, interface but they are not really variables so if what does that mean so sample interface variable is equal to 5 so now I have a sample interface variable but if you really look at it actually if I want to make it private will I be able to do that no by default all the variables that you declare inside an interface are actually public static variables so ideally I should be naming this like this like a constant so sample interface constant because anything that I define in an interface even though I don't really say it's a public static something it's actually going to be by default a public static variable that's basically a constant so public static and final variable that's a constant um, the next thing that you can do in an interface is actually use a enum so I can actually declare an enum inside an interface so let's say I want to declare a enum saying enum client type I want to define client type as an enum uh, and I would want to put public so private and 
business those are the two types of clients that i would want to access and probably one of the methods here would take this as a parameter so what we have looked at is what we can and we cannot do in a interface in an interface all the methods are by default public and abstract so you can't define a method so if i want to define this method here that's not allowed because by default all the methods in an interface are public and abstract and the other thing which we looked at is all the variables that you declare inside the uh, interface are not variables they are actually constants you can declare enums also in an interface so now let's go ahead and create a sample implementation for this particular interface uh, eclipse helps me a lot in that particular aspect so let's try and implement this interface so let's create a class sample interface impl the keyword is implements sample interface so that's the keyword and as soon as i say something implements a sample interface you can see eclipse brings me up a pop up saying an error saying uh, the sample interface impl should implement these two methods whenever a class is set to implement an interface you have to actually now define what these methods do so now let's go ahead and define what the methods do so i just uh, if you're using eclipse i can actually do add unimplemented methods which would give me basically steps so now i can go ahead and see the definition for those methods if you look at it right now this particular interface uh, the one which i'm defining right now uh, it has got nothing to do in here but i can write my code in here to do what i want to do so i can say do something here and i can implement the other method also here do something else so this is basically how you can create a uh, implementation of an interface uh, creating an implementation of interface is just simply extending using the keyword implement implement that interface and define the methods that you would want to define in the interface so if let's say i want to now make use of this particular uh, class which we have declared let's write a so let's go ahead and do that interface uh, what we have is a sample interface so sample interface and sample interface is equal to here this is where the trick comes in where i actually refer to the impl of the interface so i can't create an interface instance directly so if i say new sample interface that's basically an interface and you will not be allowed by java to create you can't it says cannot instantiate the type so you cannot create an instance of the interface because it's yeah abstract uh, so i would need to create an implementation but the interface can be used as the type of a reference variable so here the type of the reference variable is an interface but what it holds is an implementation for that interface and then i can use all the methods that i would want to use through the interface so let's say i want to do uh, method 2 to expose uh, like i can invoke the method and make use of it so uh, there it is that's all that we would want to know about an interface we are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.